Now, uh, after assembling the camshaft, we are going to uh, reassemble the sprocket from the crankshaft, this one, and then this tensioner belt. Then after we will proceed for the engine timing. Now we have the, the key on this uh, one end of the crankshaft and from this sprocket we have a keyway. This keyway should be matching with this key from the crankshaft. Okay, now let us install the Timing belt tensioner. Now we are going to, to install the timing belt. The installation of this timing belt should respect the normal way. When we look at here, we find the two small arrows. These arrows indicate the direction of uh, this timing belt. This means the arrow should be oriented in the sense of rotation of the engine. That means when we install this one, we will try to position this belt like this one, in this way, in this way. But before the installation of this belt, we have to do the timing, engine timing. And the engine timing is very, very crucial step when we do the engine overhaul. That means the timing is an operation that will harmonize the movement of the crankshaft, piston in the cylinder block, and the camshaft at the same time the movement of the valves. When the timing is not correct, we will have the problem. The working principle of the engine will not be totally correct. And most of the time, when the engine is not timed, it will not start. When you start, the engine will refuse to start. So the timing is very important. Now, from the important point to be considered are when we look at here on this crankshaft pulley or sprocket we have the the mark we have the mark over there this one and this is moving mark from the crankshaft 
and this should match with this dot on the front cover of the cylinder block and this is fixed mark and when we go up in the cylinder head we will find we have this dot from the sprocket the second one is this one this is the moving mark and here we see this arrow that means this arrow should be matching with this dot from the uh, sprocket of the uh, camshaft and so this should be matching when the piston number one is at top end of compression when this piston number one is at the end of compression and matching the moving mark and fix the mark that will be okay and it means that during the first starting the all moving part will work in harmony so that the engine will start directly without any problem so in doing this timing we will just respect this point that i have already explaining so we are going to check if the piston number one the piston number one is this one from the front side of the engine we are going to check if this is at the top on end of compression how we can check this one we have to remove the spark the spark plug and we try to introduce the maybe screwdriver the screwdriver will indicate as if the piston is up at the top of the tdc i will just turning this crankshaft i will be turning the crankshaft in the sense of working rotation and you remember before turning the crankshaft we have to release a little bit the camshaft bearing so to allow the camshaft to rotate without any problem so you have to see if the screwdriver will be up while i will just uh, check in if the moving mark will be uh, matching with the fixed mark from the front cover and if this dot of the sprocket of camshaft is matching with the arrow from this one You have to check this one. I will tell you the time that this marker from the sprocket is matching with the fixed, and you will tell me if the screwdriver is up. Now I'm reaching the point. Is the screwdriver up? Yes. yes? Okay. Let's stop by here. You see the piston from number one is up and the moving mark is facing to fix the mark from the front cover and here we have the mark of the sprocket of camshaft which is matching with this arrow now we can install our timing belt without changing the position of the mark from the two sides ok 
Okay, we are going to install this timing belt considering the di direction of this alloy. They should be oriented like this one. Wait, wait. Okay. Can you? We can now fix the uh, camshaft bearing.